Global Eco Cooperative Initiative. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 320. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 320, May 12, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness, to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, and to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Before I jump into our update, just want to say that this update's run a little bit late because we had a catastrophic computer failure this last week that has kept me busy Thursday through today uh, with about 30 hours of work just fixing all that, plus my wife probably put in somewhere between 5 and 10 hours of her time also. But we're up and running and everything's been redesigned. And so now let's talk about this global, global eco-cooperative initiative that we are creating. And that's today's topic, Global Eco-Cooperative Initiative. And one community's initiative part of that is to give everybody what they need to replicate any part of what it is that we're creating. And so the Global Eco Cooperative will be built on replications of the different sustainable villages that we're creating and hopefully other villages as well, people that want to work together, contribute together, collaborate together for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so we're building a blueprint, a template, and a prototype for this. Right now we're in the design phase. We're nine years in the design phase now. We're getting close. We think we've got another maybe two, three years left before we're ready to start construction. And then we will build the city center, which you can see in the background, the Earth Bag Village, which also is going to happen here in the background. We're building all of these things to create a place where people can come and they can experience the global eco-cooperative initiative that we're building. Not just hear about it, not just read about it, and of course people will be able to do that as well, but so that people can experience it. And so that people that want to participate can come and live within it and be a part of building it and creating it. Which, right now, this is the first phase of that, the design process, getting all the tutorials in place, everything that's needed so that when we go and we're ready to start construction, the basic foundations, the tools, the resources, all the website and structures are already in place so that we can shoot the video, so that we can make the corrections, things that we got wrong, the things that we learned from that, so we can update all that easily and efficiently as we continue to put out the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of the highest good living model that we're creating. And that model is an evolution of sustainability. It's not just the physical foundations of sustainability, it's also the emotional foundations of sustainability. So we are creating open source tools and blueprints and do-it-yourself instructions for food, energy, and housing, which are those physical infrastructure components, but we're also designing plans and creating tools, tutorials, and resources for the emotional aspects. And we've identified those foundations as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we put all these things together and we forward our global eco cooperative initiative by building a demonstration model, a prototype that people could come and experience what it looks like to meld, to merge all of those things together in one place. And then people will be able to take whatever individual component they want and replicate it, or the complete teacher demonstration hub, they'll be able to replicate that as well. And so this is what our all volunteer team is all about. And this is what we've been doing. And this is our idea of building the foundations necessary for a global eco-cooperative initiative. initiative. Not just us, but others also taking initiative and giving others even more options and diversity and ways to build. There's 3D printed houses that are coming online. There's tiny homes. All these things could integrate the components of our model that are separate from the physical infrastructure parts, or they could build them around the physical infrastructure. You could build a tiny home village around the city center. The city center provides the food preparation for 200 people, the laundry for two to 300 people, and then you build a different village around it. That is what we're creating, the recreation space for two or 300 people also. You know, or you could build an earth bag village and then build a tiny home village outside of that, or you could replace the earth bag village with a 3D printed village. We're choosing an earth bag village because it's the most affordable and one of the easiest to do without a lot of technology and to open source and free share so that people can do it all over the world. 3D printers are just not there. They're not open source and readily accessible yet. They get there, then maybe that would be something that would replace this model, but we think that this is really necessary. And so we're focused and dedicated on this, and somebody else hopefully will do that. But the point is, this is the foundation. 
and our all volunteer staff that is now up to uh, probably just under 400 volunteers have worked on this project are working to work together to create all the components, all the pieces, all the little bits that make up the foundations of the tools and the tutorials and the resources and the do-it-yourself instructions so that we can construct this and then add to that. And that, that will fully launch the Global Eco Cooperative Initiative in a way that will be completely replicable, do-it-yourself replicable, so that 50 people with average means and average resources can go out there and build themselves a complete sustainable teacher demonstration hub a village, a community for themselves, for their families, for their friends, and hopefully to be a part of the Global Eco Cooperative Initiative, to be a part of that also by contributing their open source data and plans and using the software that we're, we're creating so that they can track their labor hours and compare those to our labor hours so that they can share their experience and their challenges and compare those to our experience and our challenges and make it better, better for everyone. And so this is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. And thanks for checking it out. Now let's jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of building the foundations, the essence of a global, global eco-cooperative initiative that will change this world and finally create a world that truly works for everybody, addressing all of the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come with a model that is open source and free shared and designed to be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that it will spread on its own self-replicating model, a solution model designed to help create additional solution creating models in the interest and the highest good of all life on this planet. Here's one week of our updates. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team reassembled in 3D the new designs for the Murphy bed back storage areas and took notes on any size discrepancies we found. You can see some of this work here. The core team also began building the most sustainable adhesives page. This week, we created the header and social media imagery, initial page formatting, Y section, types of adhesives and their applications section, and the section discussing the toxicity of the two most common adhesive additives. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbank Village. Here's weekly update 158 from Dean. This week, he updated the positioning of the domes in the four dome cluster by adding a dining and recreation table and making both sides mirror each other. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 50th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was creating the tools and materials pages and layouts shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team researched Vine options and started testing placement for the City Center Library columns. The core team also continued with Week 9 of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the duplicate City Center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week's focus was testing locations and adding additional dam designs to the actual property imports from Google Earth some of which you can see here. Envita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, continued helping with the duplical city center costs. This week, she organized and color-coded all the lights for the city center lighting plan. This will allow us to more easily make changes and update the related costs. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey-Ann Boyle, and Dally Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 20th week helping with the duplical city center interior design details. This week's focus was finishing the two-bedroom storyboards shown here and starting on the cupola and sunrise patio research. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, also joined the team and started working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he created the AutoCAD HVAC zone layout and started creating the energy model geometry in SketchUp. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, 
and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan. We continued research for goats and gate installation. This included detailed review of two podcasts from Dr. Kara Shepard, one covering winter goat keeping and the other a question and answer from listeners. We also found an excellent tube gate and latch installation video by Pete B for gate installation, resurrected some valuable ideas from the comments section and added them to time frame breakouts on the Google Doc. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. The core team also worked on the food procurement and storage sustainable food nutrition calculations, and food bars pages. We created header and social media imagery, updated the SEO information, and started standardizing the formatting. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more. And leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, continued with our fifth week of updating our business plan and project management strategy. This week's focus was finalizing version one of the business plan and developing the SWOT analysis component to include the details for how we are leveraging and addressing the strengths and weaknesses. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 30th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was creating the ad group campaigns for the pages covering each of the seven villages and the tropical atrium. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of building a global eco-cooperative initiative in the interest and the highest good of all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit a written blog. If you'd like to send an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we add you to our newsletter list and we will send you an email with these updates once a week. Uh, and if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Of course, the easiest way to help out is to uh, like this video to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so that you get our notices and so that you're uh, just up to date. You can manage your uh, information that way if you like. Or join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. All the big ones, of course, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Reddit, Tumblr, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We have several different Facebook pages as well as groups. Uh, so join us in whatever way works best for you. And if you'd like to help out, share our information. Like our information. Just go to our page and click like and a whole bunch. All that stuff really makes a difference, and we really do appreciate it. And uh, if your way of helping out is just sending us good vibes or uh, watching to the end of this video, thanks for that, too. It all makes a difference. If you've donated to our project, thank you for that. It also makes a difference. We're a 100% volunteer team. We're a nonprofit, non-governmental organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. I'm a volunteer as well. And so 100% of donations goes into forwarding our mission and forwarding our open source goals and progress. None of it goes to paychecks. It all goes into that and supporting our website infrastructure, things like that. So if you've donated to our project, thank you. It makes a big difference. We are, we're getting it done. And so with that said, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on.